Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Victoria 3 as Canada. We are playing the colonial game fairly aggressively here. We're trying to improve our economy if we can. We've had a little bit of a rough patch with some of our like taxation income. Currently we have increased tax a lot. So we're number 10 in the world overall. GDP is dropping a bunch, possibly because of the extra taxes. Which I don't love, but let's see what we can do about improving some of this. Okay, tractors for farming. Mechanized slaughterhouse. I'm betting this is going to use up a bunch more engines. Oh, we actually never went all the way here. Indeed, it is going to use engine and coal. Reduce tool usage. Free up a bunch of workers. Now, the millet farm... I almost don't want to free up workers, because the whole thing with these is a little bit of subsidized work. I bet you I don't actually have to subsidize the businesses, but maybe. I'll leave that there for now. I will do this. But yeah, the millet farms are a bit of a make-work project in Botswana for now. Uh, whaling stations. Looks like you could make more money doing this. How's our urban centers looking? Arcades? Oh, that's going to be quite nice. Change from laborers to clerks and shopkeepers. A lot more glass consumption. We may have to pay a bit of attention to that. Oh, we can move this to fine arts, although it costs us more money. Because art's expensive. Yeah, I might change to uh, just realist art for here. Although, you're pretty profitable. I don't know. I'll consume more oil. And that's definitely going to make sure our, our whaling companies uh, work pretty well. Okay, I'll change the glass works. That's going to be okay. If I went to vacuum cleaning, looks like... Oh, man, more oil consumption. I don't think we can build more um, more whale stuff either, can we? Whaling stations? No. We are maxed out. British Columbia and Quebec. So until we actually get some oil technology, we are... Ooh, improved production. Oh, we had a mini quest build. Un utilizing your strength. Okay. That. Oh, yeah, we're finishing these. Oh. Oh yeah, the problem with this journal quest is that I can't really do the expanding the markets part of it. So like, I could finish the lowering consumption as well by making iron, coal, and steel super cheap. But we're not actually going to be able to advance through the economic dominance because we're part of the British market. I mean, maybe one day. Urbanized, metropolitan police. Oh, if we can get the turmoil in Manitoba down below 20%. Not in eight years. Oh, Manitoba! Wait, is there a turmoil map mode? There's radicals, but that's not what we're looking for. So presumably this stayed. I, I, it doesn't show turmoil maybe until it gets to a certain percentage. What about on the screen? Squint mode engage. I don't see it. Information? Turmoil. Well, turmoil's at 6.4. Hold on. Did I misread? Oh, does this be half above? Oh, is this as if there was turmoil over here? No. Oh. The People's Revolution. Keep an eye on this. Oh, if we have a council republic, this will advance. Oh, interesting. No blister steel, no hand assemblies. Arcades, cash. What's the blister seal process? What is this for? Well, presumably for steel. What about hand assembly? So some things are on hand assembly. Hmm. This, okay, call for women's suffrage is going to change next time. It's going to complete when we get the next election. We get arts academy up to five and film art. What is our arts academy? It's level three. Film art is not cheap, mostly because electricity is still stupid expensive. Yeah. GDP took such a hit here. That's not good. Okay, so I don't have the ability... Well, it's not called hand assembly, although that's the symbol for it. Maybe that's the same. 
Maybe until we get whatever we need for an automated bakery. That won't advance. I suppose that's a possibility. Welfare payments are certainly accounting for a lot. I'm happy I didn't increase welfare payments. Jeez. goals. Oh, oil is so expensive. I know. Can I import oil from anywhere? Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's get that there and there. Now, of course, this is going to impact our bureaucracy even more. I think what I have to do is get a couple more government registrations. I realize that, you know, we're going to be spending on construction because it doesn't have an investment pool. There we go. More. That's fine. We got people in the front. That's going to complete very quickly. Actually, our bureaucracy already started improving. But I'm going to do this anyway, because if nothing else, I might start some more incorporations or just set up more trade routes. I still have some convoys, although, yeah, we have a lot of convoys that could be better with more convoys. A lot of trade routes that could be better with more convoys, so I probably should just sit on my hands there. Because presumably I could make more money just by having those things level up more. Okay, well, that's it. There's no, yeah, there's no front for you to do. That war is going to end in a sec. Good. As soon as this finishes, we'll run a surplus again. Ile de France. Okay. Oh yeah, and that's the. Um, it's interesting that tons of people keep coming to Paris. I would have thought that those big urban centers might be a little harder, but they might be pulling in migrants with policies. I mean, I guess in reality, most immigration does actually happen to big cities. Like, I think of it in this period of time to, like, the empty places, right? Promise people some cheap land. There you go. I love the graph just breaking. <laughs> I'm betting that'll, that'll be the next one of the things we see in the next patch. It's not, like, not game-breaking, so it's not like it's a high priority. But yeah. All right, France still doing some things in a few places. Education, I think, is good. 81% literacy. Yeah, that's really good. All right, annexation complete. No more war. Unproductive trade route. Steamers. All right, let's cancel that. And, yeah, we have plenty of bureaucracy left over. So do I want to start more incorporation? I mean, I might want to leave a little bit of a buffer. First of all, the construction efficiency is nice, although it barely adds some. But mostly I don't want to go negative. But really... If we have to just build another government thing, it's kind of okay. There you go. I'll just leave it there. Try to keep a little buffer of about 100, because things can shift, especially depending on what the events happen. Oh, there we go. That's done. So now we need arcades, which is happening. So those are our... Yeah, this is going to finish soon. This is our urban stuff. Our urban centers right over here have been set to arcades. Uh, they're probably just filling up, what, their bank accounts? Workforce or cash reserves. Or making sure they're profitable, which should be the case. 1.42. It's not moving. Cash reserves, workforce. Urban centers. Can I tell at a glance? Oh, why are cash reserves going down? Oh, you are losing money. Electricity is still high. I could subsidize you, but I think the best thing to do is to build more electricity. But again, it doesn't consume my investment pool. Bravo, 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 bravo. Okay, what else? What's our situation in the market here? Okay, there is a more and more of a demand for ironclads. So, in New Brunswick, I built a shipyard here. So, I'm going to get this shipyard to be set to steamships and can be extensive. It's going to be making pure ironclads. So, first of all, we're helping with that, but there was still there was a shortage that was much bigger than that, wasn't there? Um yeah, 400 short. Let's do this. I'm hoping... Good. 
that is going to extract from the investment pool. It's a nice even five, just like even numbers. This is going to help a lot too, as well. Would have been interesting to get a before and after on our interest rates. It's possible it hasn't updated yet. These are going to be pretty slow to research. We're not going to do that. Psychoanalysis is coming in on its own. So yeah, we have film tech. Zeppelins, paved roads. More military thing. Eh. I mean, we could get maybe better gun tech, but I don't think that's where we want to go. What does Telephone give us? Unlocks electric industries. Oh, electrics industries, which produces telephones. Ah, probably not much of a demand for it yet. This is how we get our coal. Okay, you know what? Power is so expensive, and we do have plenty of access to coal. We're going to do that. It feels backwards. It feels absolutely backwards. It feels like in Ontario, our electricity output should be specifically tied to just when we have geothermal running, but I don't think that's... Or hydro... <laughs> geothermal when we have our hydroelectric running but i don't think it's coded that way self-propelled torpedoes torpedo boat submarines i don't think i care about that these gold fields yeah i still don't want to generate the radicals so i'm just gonna keep hitting that button okay native uprising fine same thing with senegal go there and that should be more than enough uh, maybe the South Africa HQ. Is there a quick way to, like, build more troops where this was? I mean, you don't have a general. But this might be... No, you're not there. You're here. I'm going to build a couple extra barracks so we can have a, a, a larger army. It's just standing around over here is going to be fine. Also going to hire more workers, of which we have plenty. Which are slowly being incorporated. Well, I think there's going to be more and more of a demand for coal. I'm going to set up like 10 coal mines over here. Uh, hang on, Quill. Let's keep waiting for the money to go down. Or the, the debt to go down. May as well drop some interest before we push more. Paper's quite expensive. Oh, that is actually going to definitely hit us. That might be a good thing for us to consider building next. These shipyards are going to be very profitable and theoretically help out the British market's military situation, which we're in favor of. But mostly we're excited to maybe sell a bunch of ironclads. Analyst, more influence. And cheaper bureaucracy is going to be very handy for us. Could even consider maybe starting another incorporation. Yeah, because that's still netting upwards or trending upwards. Um... And there's different costs. I think it has to do with how many people are in places. I'll do Botswana. Okay. Battalions and reserves. And I could get extra generals, but I think that does cost us constant bureaucracy as well. Okay. That's going to be fine. We don't have that many troops, but ours are going to be much, much more effective. And that's with us not actually paying much for our military. So yeah, that's going to be easy peasy. Oh. Arcade situation actually just got a lot worse. Uh -huh. well, that's too bad. I think if we made glass better, that would work better. Okay, yeah, you're here, but you have no front. Yeah, okay, good. That war's over. Perfect. Oh, a new uprising. So, you actually will have somewhere to go. Come over there, Mr. Kidney Stones. Okay. So GDP is coming back up after we may have taken a hit from some tax stuff and things, but it is it is working again. Radical is going up, not a surprise with our high taxes. Maybe when we burn off the debt, I should look into lowering the taxes uh, a notch. I think that's probably a decent idea. Leave the bureaucracy where it is. Electricity is still expensive. I just wish we could pay for it out of the investment pool. How's the price of coal? Because I think, well, once we do this, coal prices are gonna go up a lot. Fine art, yeah, we don't need much. I still could use a lot of ironclads. Are you fully employed? You are fully employed. Yeah, 
So the profit will go down because the prices will equalize, but that's just per thing. But overall, we should have more people hired. You have plenty of crew people, right? Yeah. Um, actually, I could turn on an auto expand here. Yeah, you are making money hand over fist. Let's do that. I don't know how much we've got in the investment pool. Yeah, it's burning off pretty quickly. Okay. We'll just leave it there. Because I'm still interested in just burning this away. God damn it, Great Britain. Why you gotta be like that? And done. Let me just check the column with that. Yeah, I guess I should check this maybe every time one of these little wars end. Because I theoretically, it is giving us access to more and more territory as we should push forward here. Oh yeah, one ended, but this one is escalating. We're going to finish that shortly. There's something else I'm missing. The, the, what I'm missing is nearly 50,000 pounds a month that is going to Great Britain right now. That's what I'm missing. They're also paying a fair amount in subsidies. It's all going to railways and the millet farms, right. The railways are important for the infrastructure, but... I don't suppose, hold on. Railways would be more profitable if more of them were using like trains to output things, which I think everything that can use a train is. Yeah, because the farms don't have it. Neither the ranch, it's just the mines. I guess, okay, here's the thing. Coal mines are clearly making a huge bank. If we had more coal mines, it would use more transportation, which would make our railways more profitable. Plus, coal is just super valuable right now. Ooh, we got a communist party now. Oh, there we go. First election. So, this is happening, I think, because we've got our, yeah. First election since voting franchise was extended women, beginning a new area in Canadian democracy. Okay, so trade unions would get the feminist ideology. Oh, or intelligentsia would. Or great victory for suffragists, which just gives a bunch of popularity boost to some people right now. Um, I don't think it really matters. Do you not already have? Oh yeah, when you go over the icon, it replaces it. Okay, so you actually. Oh, but Paul Corborn supported it at the time because he was a feminist, but the intelligentsia don't actually have the feminist trait. So if we add this in, they should always have endorsed or potentially strongly endorse the women's right policy, which should make it easier to keep them above 10, which I kind of like for the propagandists. Uh, okay, this shit keeps moving around, which is a little annoying. I'm a little confused. Strongly endorse women's suffrage. Shouldn't that mean we should be seeing a plus two added to their mood? I would have thought. Oh wait, total approval from laws is capped at plus five. So the plus two doesn't matter. So it's actually currently getting plus 11, but it's, we're only getting plus five value to this. So the most we can have from static laws sitting around is plus five with these guys. So anything above that is very, what have you done for me lately? I had not realized that until now. And that actually seems like a pretty big deal. So sorry I didn't notice that. Yeah, no fronts, war's done, good. Build the shipyards, boost the economy that way, please. Yeah, I'm mostly excited about getting some like, extra electricity, even though I'm going to have to pay for it. And I guess that's the way it's going to have to go. Oh. oh, yeah, shipyards are in different modes. That is unavoidable. So, yeah, Quebec. Uh, I mean, we might end up making a slight tweak. Nope, nope, you'd lose tons of money doing that. You would turn a slight profit doing this. Although, you tank the price of Man of Wars. What I might need is another place specifically focused on Man of Wars. We might need a lot of babysitting of our shipyards here. 
I'm gonna start one on the west coast. I mean, at some point, the Man of Wars won't be ne needed, but this will give me a tiny bit of fine-tuned control. And again, we can do some imports and exports, but those, like, just building one of those is gonna make us, that industry is gonna be super mega profitable, right? So that seems like a pretty good idea. All right, Communist Party with the rural folk. Express their willingness to offer more moderate solutions to political extremists. Yay! Thank God. So more momentum to the communist, or sounds far-fetched, but the Social Labour Party is still the sensible option. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Do we want to go communist Canada just for funsies? I mean, that's rural folk, and I don't. No, there's no way I'm in in, in favor of this. Yeah, so I will encourage the social liberal or social labor platform instead of the communist. Oh, elevating our, our situation just changed. Nice. Check our progress. So this is raising the new heights. Glasswork steel mill boost or urban center throughput. We don't have that many glassworks or that many steel mills. Whereas we're getting urban centers kind of all over the place as we grow, so that might be good. Too bad we can't do any whaling over here. Get that oil. Well, hopefully we'll get an actual oil tech. Neutrality, neutrality. Ooh, tons of stuff shaking down. Hydor versus an uprising. Let me check my colonies. They're all colonizing as much as they can. GDP is rising again after that dip. Population still continues to climb. 13th most populated country in the world. Ninth most on GDP. GDP per capita has definitely dropped here. I mean, we really haven't been growing as much since we've had to put a bit of a pin in our construction, which I don't like. Man, maybe I should just cancel the freaking welfare payments. Good God. Who knew being a welfare state could be so expensive? Cancel Social Security. Or if we could just get more people better paying jobs. Which we need to do by building more stuff. Now our investments are going to the shipyard here. All right, well, that's some communist party stuff. So yeah, I guess we're supporting the socialist labor party, which is trade unions, as opposed to the communists, which is rural folk. Um, liberal conservatives, they're not pleased with me, and I don't really want to bring these in. I don't think there's any reason to kick any of these out, so I think we're fine, as is. Yeah, Council Republic is the, uh, the communist one. Council from different industries. Oh, we have never done uh, guaranteed li liberties. This does create a new institution, which eats more of our bureaucracy cost. But we do get less revolution, less radicals, more loyalists. You, let's let's do this. Armed forces. Okay, no one's going to radicalize. Let's run that. And I think that's going to move us in a half decent direction to keep people fairly passive. Anything exciting in the journals here? Oh yeah, the fine arts. Um, kind of like to do this, but that is mostly just going to cost us money right now. Because I think we're going to have to supplement that. I guess we're not really urbanizing because we keep adding more stuff. We need to have level 5 urban centers in all of our incorporated states, I believe it is. Which mostly is going to happen by building more urban stuff. Which I should really do. This food industry could be worth a lot of money. Well, again, let's bank investment pool as well as our own money here. I keep thinking of cutting just welfare payments. <laughs> Subsidies are going up. I think it's all... Well, it's mostly the um, the railroads. Guess what I could do? We could consider some auto expanding on some of those. Oh, I just realized. Hold on. One of these shipyards doesn't make money. I was going to say, that's the one in British Columbia. There we go. That's what we want to 
to do. Consumption. And we are getting dividend taxes. Right, from the profitable businesses. Makes sense. And then income taxes as well. Ooh. Graph is going crazy. So yeah, I mean, we have more rubber possibilities inside of our territory here. I didn't realize these food industries were still making huge bank. Okay, let's get both of these up. Yeah, groceries are fairly expensive. Not huge, but they're certainly there. Okay. Migrations, no war going on for us. No new colonies. Oh, police brutality. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're going to bring down the law enforcement by a tick again. Maybe that's fine. I don't think we've got much of the problem of um, radicals. Maybe we won't get this event if it's like this. I don't know. Hopefully we're okay. All right, build those. Yeah, we're draining the investment pool. Not too quickly. I think we might have to spend a little bit of our own cash on this, but it's not going to be too bad. We need more tools and more glass when we're constructing. Uh, are we still complaining about a lack of convoys? We are. Oh, and we have some unproductive trade rights. Well, let's cancel those. Which theoretically might also free up some convoys. Oh, there we go. No longer a shortage for things. That's good news. Yeah, that's such a tiny little trade route. Most of these are pretty small. I mean, we'd make a few bucks. there. Oh, wait, we have negative convoys? Okay. I didn't see that message, but apparently we have negative convoys, so let's not do anything else. Alright, construction. Finish that, please. Right of Assembly. Oh yeah, this is... Guaranteed Liberties is better than Rights of Assembly. It feels bad that we're not supporting Right of Assembly, but... We actually are going better than all that. Canada getting that big name in Africa. Um, do we keep incorporating? I guess we're not progressing on things, but it's, it feels fine. And I'll go for the places that have like a full name. To me, implying that we own the full state as opposed to half a state being split with someone else. Some of those half-states might still have more people in it. Oh, Greeks, Greeks are coming to the Canadian Katanga. Infamity K we don't need. I guess I'll just check on... It'd be nice to do, like, the improved diplomat thing. Yeah, I'll just click on whoever. North German Federation. Oh, hello. North German Federation. Also, we got Zeppelins. Oh, Native Uprising. Sure. Ew, that is a terrible color. Don't like that. You know what? I am going to recruit a general finally here for the South Africa HQ. And we're going to run that. I'll mobilize you over here as well. Which I don't think is necessary, but in hindsight I wouldn't have grabbed the Senegal ones. Just to keep things flowing better. Yeah, glass and tools are both things that we do need for construction. Don't think there's much import and export available for us, so I think really it's a sign that we should be boosting those industries. Glassworks is hella profitable. We just have the one token one. All right, I'm going to put you on auto expand. We'll just have the one. So it's going to have to refill its um, cash reserve every time it expands, which will be a bit of a, an auto delay in that. But I think I can probably have it keep going. Guaranteed liberties in place. Let me take a sec. Okay, we've got negative over there. That's going to be all right. What was the other thing? Oh, tools. 
Wait, do we not produce tools? Ourselves? At any point? Wow! I didn't realize that. Also, I didn't realize this Saskatchewan was out of workers here. Do we have some modes to free up some workers? Uh, no, we're already on it. And you don't even have workers here. I guess we've been losing people. Yeah, everyone's leaving Saskatchewan. Well, I'm sorry. It's high, but we're still losing. That's crazy. Compared to the average. Why is it losing so many people then? Scent. Or maybe the other places are just more appealing. Huh. I'm a little unhappy about that. But okay. I'm still mostly hoping to be stealing things from other places. Alright. Yeah, let's start a tools workshop. Uh, tooling workshop. Somewhere with a decent amount of population. Uh, Celebes, I think, is still being integrated right now. So we'll put it in Quebec. Now, I'm going to assume we're going to want steel tools. Yeah, this needs fewer people, which actually I'm not opposed to more people. Hand assembly is one of our things, and we can public trade for this. I'll throw in an auto expand. So yeah, it's sort of a regular intervals. It'll keep rebuilding itself. A little hands off, and that might be okay. And what's nice is they're kind of going to pay for their own construction here a little bit. So steel's still cheap, explosives aren't bad, but yeah, tools and glass are insanely expensive. And I think um, that's just constant. Like when we play as Italy, it's when our own construction turns on and off, it radically changes the price of all these goods. But here, because we're in such a large market, it's unlikely to change whether or not we're constructing. So these are going to be fairly um, financially viable for a good long time. So let's keep that trickling in for now. Slightly negative bureaucracy, but barely so. Britain is embargoing the two Sicilies. Really? Wow. Look up Egypt all up in here. They don't have inst Istanbul in this game, but they're still kicking Ottoman's ass over and over. Seek and Sindh are still here. East India Company is definitely pulling in India. More colonies, please. Oh, Glassworks, and yeah, they're going to wait until they've refilled their financial situation before queuing up another one. So it's going to be a slow trickle of auto construction. I mean, I could just queue it up manually too, but I think the pacing is actually going to be kind of good. Interest payments are nearly gone. And yeah, strongly considering... Well, I mean, we don't run a profit while constructing. I would like to lower taxes, but I guess right now we don't really need more people. We need the people we have to be working more effectively. So maybe I won't lower taxes and we'll just make sure to keep spending on construction. Let me take a little look-see at our um, shipyards to see how they're doing. Yeah, you're still st turning a huge profit. Ironclads are still very valuable, so do that for me, please. How about over here? Yep, yeah. Man of Wars are still very profitable. So I'm actually going to queue up a bunch more. I think that's going to be very good for us. GDP closing on a 50 million. Still number 9 overall. Still 10th in rank. I wonder if uh, Great Britain would be more interested in giving us independence if we, uh, if we ranked up. Okay. I mean, we're still getting lots of migration to places we've got. Efficient agriculture. Let's do it. Yeah, running a deficit. But yeah, at least our debt's not crazy anymore. Keep an eye on those gold reserves to see what the measurements do. The interest rate's not that high anymore. Although it's still, I mean, 3k a month is still a fair amount of money. Although I think it makes sense to complete these upgrades here. 
They may be another good candidate for just putting on auto. Because then they'll slowly keep kind of building at a bit of a tick. In a way that feels okay. I guess maybe... Do we not get the... Uh, wow, coal mines. I'm quite surprised. Uh, tool price. And engines. Yeah, okay. Convoys. It's weird that it goes away, because, like, it does... I think we're pretty short on convoys overall. Nitrogen fixation. Okay, so that's all of our farms and the chemical plants. Chemical fertilizer. Okay, you need more fertilizer, which is currently fairly cheap to produce more goods. Oh, yeah, very good there. And actually, these, I was going to say, these would probably make good money switching modes. Um, but I am looking to keep these people employed right now. It's nice that we don't have to subsidize you anymore. You're clearly making a profit. I'm just going to toggle that off. That's going to be okay. Uh, chemical plants. We did have some. If we switched over here, you would lose money because, okay, you'd be looking to consume more oil, which you don't have, to produce more fertilizer, which is already cheap. So, yeah, we don't want to change you up. Yeah, frick it. Let's turn these on. These three little weird shipyard projects. It's going to be okay. Which are already on a construction queue. I think it's going to be okay. We'll see if we can just afford to spend the money here for a little longer. What is this? Trade units. How do the industrialists are not super keen? And they're not going to be. At least we keep the trade unions on our side. Oops, I was going to say, they don't give us propaganda. They give us, uh, yeah, the workforce ratio over here, which we might not need currently. Although it'd be nice in freaking Saskatchewan. And they're still losing pops. Oh my god, it's going to become completely barren over there. cancel a consumption tax to give these guys greener grasses. I feel bad for what's happening there. I mean, overall, the population is rising, right? So clearly, we've got strong immigration everywhere. It's just, I think, within Canada, because that's where they're going. It's Saskatchewan is appealing within the British market. Well, it's dropped down to medium instead of high. But it's still relatively appealing within the British market, right? It's higher than the average. But the problem is, so many other places are just better right now than Saskatchewan within our market within our realm every I mean they're even like hey let's let's go to Africa there's lots of space there so I guess it makes sense I guess it's not the sign that we've got an unhealthy economy it's just there are healthier economies in other places and eventually it would rebalance because I'm betting Saskatchewan is now yeah sparsely populated and that number is increasing as well uh, da -da -da -da. customs yeah that's not gonna happen Oh, I could do some more mapping the American frontier. I think when this is completely done, we might get an event that, like, lets us split the border, which I don't want to do because my borders are clean right now, and then I've got a bunch of American stuff here that I don't want to give up. So I think we're just going to keep going on with what we've got right now. Yeah. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.